Well, hello, it's Thursday, so it's Woolly Hats Wednesday. We're a day late, but please forgive me. It is Christmas and there's lots of things going on. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> there we go. Uh, so it's a bit of a blustery day today and things are w being blown around all over the place. So I hope you're staying safe and possibly the best place to be is inside. I'm doing a bit of knitting and crochet, which is what I've been doing. So last week, you remember, I presented with you with lots of socks that are missing a partner. So you'll be pleased. So there was this was one of them, <coughs> which is Mothy and the Squid's uh, sock wool and uh, contrasting yarn uh, for Mr. Butch. So you'll be pleased to know that um, I'm well on the way to finishing the second sock to match it, which is very good because this is a present for Mr. W. He does know he's getting it, so it's not a secret, but um, um, I'm pleased that I've made some progress, so I should finish that. I've only got a bit more of the foot to do and the toe and... Uh, grafting the uh, the toe which would be excellent so what else have i been doing well i've been doing some knitting more knitting so um you remember that i had all these socks to do and actually found something else to do so it's that's what i'm making so it's in the latest edition of the rowan uh, knitting and crochet magazine and it's um double knit jumper with some fair up on it and um I think it's 100, I shall tell you who it's by. I should have prepared this earlier, but there's so much going on. Um, so it's by Chloe Thurlow. So I don't think I've knitted anything by her before, uh, but the pattern suggests using, uh, or recommends using, um, felted tweed, which is that. So I have got some orange for the pattern, uh, but I found in my stash <coughs> rather a lot of King Cole Merino Blend Double Knit. So this is 100% um, new wool. So it's got merino in it and it is quite luscious. It's quite soft, um, perhaps a little bit thicker than um, uh, Rowan yarn, uh, the felted tweed. I did do a tension square, big tick to me. I always recommend doing a tension square. And I know it's a bit of a bind, but I think when you're using wool that's not recommended, it is a good thing to do. So it is slightly wider. It produces a, a slightly wider tension square. So I'm doing a, combination of well i've not reduced the size of needles I've, I've increased i've reduced the size of pattern i'm doing um but uh it's coming on quite nicely so there you go so i've done the, the sort of the body i'm doing the um, pattern now which goes up to around here and uh, it's looking quite good so it's a nice simple one so it's quite a good one to do um while watching also the christmas telly so um i'm looking forward to doing that i have got some crochet to do i'm making some key rings for some presents and I know that Christmas is only four or five days away uh, but they are little so I should have time to do them so there we go so um yes so I shall enjoy doing finishing the sock and doing this uh because this is it's a stocking stitch it's not too difficult so it's a good thing to do when you've got lots of things going on and pick it up and put it down so um it's a nice thing to do to get away from the the hustle and bustle of all the lists and the families and the friends and cooking to go in the corner and do a bit of knitting and crochet. So I hope you manage to find time to do that because I will be doing that as well. So uh, that's what my projects are this week. Um, uh, and all that remains for me to say is, well, first of all, uh, I have some new classes next uh, year. So please look on the website or Facebook and you'll find the events there. So I'm doing a learn to crochet starting the last week in January. I'm doing a cable knitting workshop on the 3rd of February. And then in March, <coughs> I'm doing... Um, Granny Square Blanket course and also a sock workshop. So rather than a four-week course, I'm doing it in a workshop. So hopefully some of you will be able to come along to that and learn a few new skills for 2024, which will be very exciting. Anyway, so the second thing is to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I look forward to seeing you hopefully in 2024. Bye for now.